What's up guys, in this video we're going to be making an invite button right here. When we click this, an invite menu will pop up and we can invite all of our friends to our Roblox game. This is useful for when you're all alone, so you can fill up your game with all sorts of friends. So in most games that you'll see this added into, most of the time they'll have a little GUI on the side here. It's a little button and when you click it, a little menu pops up with all your friends here and you can invite them to play with you. It just kind of livens up your Roblox game and makes it so that you can have a little bit more fun playing your Roblox game. It's a great way to keep players in your game and also to get new players inside of your game. So in order to start, we're going to go over to Starter GUI right here. Click on the plus icon to the right of that and add in a screen GUI. This is necessary for us to put a nice little text button inside of here. So when we click to the plus icon to the right of the screen GUI, we can add in a text button. I'm going to drag this text button somewhere just right here around the middle of my screen. And you can feel free to stylize this the way you want to. For the sake of the tutorial though, I'm just going to leave it as a pretty blank square right here. Now for the text inside of the properties, I'm going to go down to the text and change this to invite for the sake of clarity. And I'm also going to turn on text scaled and I'm going to change the font to Verdoka 1. So now I've got our little invite button right here. We can get scripting. And by the way, if you don't see the explorer tab or the properties tab here, do not fret because all you have to do is go up to this view tab right up here on the top and then click on properties and explorer. Anyways, to actually get scripting our player invite menu, we need to go into our text button right here, click on the plus icon to the right of that, and then add in a local script. Now that we've got our local script here, we can actually get coding. The first thing that we're going to want to get is Roblox's social service. In order to get this, we need to get a variable for it, so we're going to say local social service will be equal to game colon get service quotation marks, and then social service. So now we've got Roblox's social service inside of a variable, we need to get the player. So we're going to say local player service will be equal to game get service players. And now we need to actually get our player. So we're going to say local player will be equal to game dot players dot local player, just like that. So we've got our three variables up here at the top. Let's actually get coding. In order for this to work, we need to create a simple function here. So I'm going to say local function now let's name this to something cool like can send game invite just like that now we add in a parentheses like this with sending player inside the parentheses just like that because sending player is going to be our parameter that we're using for this function now we're going to get a few variables here but in the same variable we're going to assign different values to different names inside of here so we're going to say local success comma can send and then this will be equal to pcall, our function right here, with a brand new parentheses just like that. Now inside of this pcall, let's go ahead and say return social service, can send game invite async, and then our sending player right here, just like that. Now if we drop below this end right here with the little parentheses on the side of it, we can get to our ending little script inside of this function, which will be return success and can send just like that so this is our game invite function right here that's going to be basically whenever we run this it will send an invite to our player that we are going to go ahead and find now let's create another variable to see if our player can invite the player so we're going to say local can invite will be equal to can send game invite with our player variable inside of here as the parameter and then let's go ahead and say script.parent.mouse button click connect function now if our can invite we're going to go ahead and say local success once again and then our error message equal to p call another function once again and then inside of here we're going to say social service prompt game invite with our player right inside the parentheses just like that so this is our function here this is actually our entire script for our player menu if we were to run the game right now, it would work, but I just want to go over some things to make sure that we're all understanding it. A social service is getting all of our friends and social activities on side of Roblox, and these are the two functions that we're using to actually create the menu and send the invite to the player. And we're basically just running this function whenever a player clicks on our invite button. That's what the whole script.parent.mouse button one click connect function does right there. And let's go ahead and click on play to test this out. So as you can see, when I click on the invite button right here, 
an invite friends button will pop up. Well, not button, but menu will pop up. You can invite any one of your friends. There's a little search bar in case you want to search for your friends. Anyways, it's just a really cool, simple idea and super simple thing to do. Now, I don't think this is necessarily necessary for a game, but I feel like it's definitely something you should add as it can keep players in your game for longer or can add new players to your game. Anyways, if you liked this video as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Goodbye.